everyone again this is Antonio and I'm coming at you with another exciting video in this video we want to talk about AMC first of all I would like to start off by saying this is not financial advice this is what this is for entertainment and educational purposes only but let's talk about AMC and let's talk about how these hedge funders uh, these hedge funders are on the offense what they're basically trying to do is is spearing up news they're cooking up false narratives and what people like you what they want you to do is to jump off board so in this video we want to talk about all of the negative news is coming off on amc how they did the same thing with gamestop they did the same thing with other stocks like blackberry but one thing i don't like is they call it a stock mania they call it a meme stock but this is for real and they're throwing synthetic shares, naked shares in the market, trying to spear people's imaginations. And, it's, it, and they're trying to get an amateur trader to jump off board. They want you to short sell yourself. They want you to short this stock so bad until it doesn't make any sense. So let's read some of these documents. Let's get real candid about it, the way they're trying to go at it. So first of all, this is a quick read. It's saying Reddit traders put 345 million into AMC, but mean stock many has peaked. At the time of this recording, this stock is like $51 a share. Remember, a lot of us got into this stock when it was like $9, $10 a share, and we have stuck with it. And now that is $51 a share, we want to ride this to get to about $1,000 a share because it has the potential to do that if we don't listen to this fake this fake news that's coming out all right so let's start here the recent revival of investor interest in so-called and, and, and here go the word mean stocks like u.s cinema chain amc and retro smartphone maker blackberry may may uh, already be over according to analysts of, of retail trading flows this is when they want you to jump off board that's why i'm that's why I'm making this video. Vanda Research said on Friday that is pro uh, uh, proper uh, Terry tools tracking retail investor flows in the U.S. and U.K. suggested interest in mean stocks probably peaked on Wednesday, which is a lie. AMC stock closed to double on Wednesday amid a flurry of interest in the stock from day traders and, uh, and other amateur investors many of whom share ideas on the reddit forum of wall street bets amc has become in the vogue stock among this band of investors and this week's price action recalls similar retail price action seen in gamestop stock at the start of the year <clears throat> in total retail investors put 345 million into amc over the last five trading days according to vanda that was 328 percent above the one month average amc's price surge came as the company announced it was raising new cash deepening into relationship with retail investors through initiatives including popcorn but even amc was alarmed by its stocks movement the company on Thursday said its share surge uh, appeared to be unrelated to our underlying business and warned people not to buy its stock unless, it had, unless you are prepared to incur the risk of losing all or substantial portion of your investment. Well, first of all, <clears throat> don't make an a investment into a company that you don't know anything about. Do your research. Don't listen to a person sitting behind a computer. Don't listen to your cousin. Don't listen to your auntie. I, I had a text from a friend yesterday telling me to get in GameStop uh, uh, two days ago, telling me to get in GameStop when it was already $72 a share. I'm like, okay, I'm on the vest, but I already been in GameStop when it was like $9 a share. So it didn't make any sense. But, you know, this is the, how it, they do it. They get the motivation, they get the media. They make good news, people cash out, then they make bad news because they want you to jump off board too. Hold firm. Hold eights, we got to hold the line. The warning appears to have worked. 
with, with Vanda reporting a major drop off in retail buying on Thursday. The stock sunk 17% and was down another 9.8% in the pre market on Friday. All right. AMC, by far, the stock with the uh, largest retail purchases, received 66 million in new inflows, less than half of the 136 million it had averaged from Monday to Wednesday, said, uh, said Ben, a senior uh, strategist at Vonda. All right. So, Let's jump over here and let's talk and, and let's talk about some uh, other fear tactics that other articles are doing. And this is what these hedge funds funders are doing. They want you to jump off board. So they pay people like this to write these stocks. These are fear tactics. They want you to jump off board. But apes, we got to hold strong. So let's keep going. AMC stock. Is out of touch with fundamentals, but capital raises should pr provide a boost, analyst says. So let's keep going. Shares of AMC Entertainment Holdings were on track to extend their pullback Friday after Wedbush analyst Alicia Reese said that while the movie theater operators has made the best of its current meme stock status by raising equity capital, prices remain out of touch with fundamentals. Reese reiterated that neutral rating she had on AMC since March 2020, but lifted her stock price target to $7.50 from $6.50. The new target is 85.4% below Thursday's closing price of 51.34. The stock fell 8.5 in pre-market trading after tumbling 17.9% on Thursday. But even with the Thursday pullback, the stock was still up 96.6% this week after rocketing 116.2% this week. Thursday decline followed the company announcement that it sold 11.55 million shares to raise 587.4 million, breaking in the total equity raise to the second quarter to 1.246 billion. AMC then said at the Thursday closing bell, it would ask shareholders for authority to issue up to 25 million additional shares. With this capital infusion, AMC can more rapidly reduce its debt and return to its prior growth strategy of upgrading its European circuit and the Spanish screens in the Middle East. Reese wrote in a note to clients. We also expect AMC to take part in the bidding process for newly available domestic theater uh, assets. She added that she, incre uh, she was increasingly optimistic about the movie theater business in a post-pandemic in uh, environment as signs of pent-up movie-going demand suggest a strong box office in the coming months. She said that the opening Memorial Day weekend box office, A Quiet Place 2, Bars well for the summer of COVID-19 restrictions continue to be lifted. And we're not going to read all of this. We're going <clears> to <throat> go into more depth of this stock and why it may be a good thing. First of all, do not invest money that you're afraid, uh, afraid to lose. Always do research in the company. I know I said that before. I'm saying it again. All right. As the vaccine rollout continues, a large and large markets reopen with increasing theoretical uh, capacity limits and more relaxed mask mandates. We think studios are unlikely to further postpone tent pole titles. All right, so let's jump over here. And this is talking about how AMC looks to issue 25 more million uh, shares. And basically it's saying AMC holdings plunge 18% on Thursday but was down 40% at one point during the session, the movie theater chain is still up more than 2,000% this year. And that's from Bloomberg's Juliet Sally reports, uh, of course, on Bloomberg. So, <clears throat> and lastly, this is what I'm talking about, some more of these scare tactics. Uh, all right, so this is some more scare tactics 
So if you look right here, this gentleman, Oscar Williams uh, Group, broke. And then on this article, uh, AMC stocks lower Friday to close out a wild week. Uh, and then they keep calling the meme stock. Calling the meme stock is a disrespect to the company, us stockholders, and the people who invested real money. We are not a meme. This is not a game. Some people have become millionaires in the last days from investing and refinancing the house. Some people have gone eating ramen noodles and, and, and uh, packing lunches for weeks or uh, months because they have full faith in this stock. So calling it a mean stock is, is just a little disrespect in my opinion, but let me keep going. It's been quite the week for AMC Entertainment and other mean stocks as frenzied trading inspired by Reddit's chat rooms swept through Wall Street yet again. Judging from their pre-market action, these speculative stocks are set to, for modest losses for, try, uh, for Friday, but still be wrapping up the wild week with massive gains. AMC shares fell more than 7% in pre-market trading Friday after dropping 18% in the previous session. And here we're going again, talking about all of the stocks is up, some stocks is down. I'm going to read some of it. But basically, what they want you to do is jump off board. They want you to take your money out. They want you to cash out and short this set, short this stock, short your gains, where there are thousands of dollars to be had. This stock has potential, but you may have to be in, in on this play a little while longer. Uh, let's just read a little bit more, and then I'm gonna end this video. This video is about the the, the scare tactics that they're trying to do. But don't fall for it. Follow somebody that you have complete faith in uh, that's a real financial advisor. And you will see that sometimes that's the best way to go. All right. AMC is wasting no time in taking advantage of his massive rally by raising new capital. Let's remember, this stock was almost, I mean, this company was almost bankrupt. So for them to pull out and share sales, I mean, it, it, it's 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 only business a person that was almost bankrupt and the people like me and you the apes we came out full force we invested our hard-earned money into this stock so you got to really realize that this company saw uh blood in the water and they they probably start selling some stocks but they couldn't afford to probably sell some stocks because they still got a lot more don't jump off the train by selling yours like i said again these are scare tactics. Take your time. Stay in your position. If you got it in at $10 a share, and think about it. If this stock eventually gets up to $1,000 a share that some, some people are predicting, then you made $30,000 or probably investing uh, $200 to $300. So it all depends on what time you got into it. That's why I made that prediction. So this, and I'm not going to reread this because it's the same information. So basically, um, what they're saying is uh, short covering could be at play again for speculative names favored by Reddit traders. AMC has oh, around 18% of its float share ship so short versus about 5% on the average of U.S. stock, according to data from, I mean, data from S3 Partners. This week's rally pushed short sellers' losses to more than $5 billion of this year. So these articles that you are reading, these are putting hedge funds on offense. But what you got to do is stay on defense, lock, lock arms with other apes, hold firm, and keep your, keep your uh, money in this stock. Stay in play because at the end of the day, this stock is not over. $51 is not going to be the end. It will get over 100 It will get over 500 Nobody has a crystal ball knowing when, but it's definitely going to happen. So without the further ado, I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to say please like, comment, and share as there will be other videos that I'll be making soon, and I will see you next time.